YouTube. It's Dwight, BKK Fatty. We're here at the Epicurean Market. There's a bunch of healthy stuff here, uh, a bunch of not so healthy stuff here. It's a bit of a mix. Um, I love this market. It's super friendly. People are easy to talk to. They got a lot of uh, organic and vegetarian and probiotic and uh, some stuff that I don't understand and um, some stuff that I definitely want to try. So we're going to walk around a little bit and maybe introduce you to some of these uh, cool vendors. 50 strands of probiotic bacteria, 25 strains, yogurt has six. Yummy probiotics. I'm usually not picky about my bacteria. <laughs> Street food has a lot, huh? <laughs> It's got like a, yeah, it tastes healthy to me. Does it taste healthy? It tastes healthy. Oh, it tastes healthy. Yeah. Would you I mean, like to like try some lemonade? Milk yeah. yogurt kind of. Thank you. It's, um, it's a, yeah, um, Bangkok Probiotics is the name of our little do. And we sell fermented kefir drinks. So water kefir and milk kefir. Hi uh, Sarah, how are you? How's it going? Very good, very good. Everything's good. Sure, you got something I can taste? Yes, today, for example, we have Finger Bear Cruise from Colombia and our house blend. Which one would you like to try? Uh, this one is not fruity, that is fruity. Let me have the Colombian stuff. Sounds cool, one second. It's not a lot Colombian that I don't like. <laughs> this one is Paul, it's from a farm called Bear Cruise from Colombia. It smells great. It's a full body, smooth, fruity, so that's just like lemony. And it has a sweetness of a brown sugar sweet. Therefore, when you drink, you can have that touch of like acidity. You feel very sparkling in your, your, your tongue. Delicious, very nice. Yeah. Everything he said. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Still warm. Interesting coffee. This is from Cerecia? Great place to get coffee, or even if you just want beans and want to brew your own stuff, you should check them out. Find them in Saturn. There's one, we have one in Saturn, Saturn. and Tesco Tower, uh -huh. and then another one just here in 33 slash one. So okay. right opposite Fuji Superman. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. finish my coffee but I gotta go find out what's going on with the raw coconut water because I love coconuts. If I could get coconuts delivered to my house every day that would be awesome. Uh, I don't I'm not really a fan of coconut water unless I'm hungover but I will like drink water from a fresh coconut every day, any day, all day. That's really good. Uh, a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. So that was the coconut water mixed with the flesh of the coconut. And you got some coconut, regular coconut water here. Taking all these, all these shots, day drunk. That's really good. Can I have a coconut? Oh. It's great. And it's organic. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> but not really. I know we just uh, left Mikel for like a couple of days ago. But we're gonna go ahead and have some uh, breakfast beer. <laughs> Wait, you can have I don't get it. Sunday? Sunday? Why are you I was thinking up? about the kids. Yeah, you know, no, no, might, there, might, there might be kids chill. watching. Yeah, yeah, you can put a beer in here. No, this is for the kids. This is for the adults. Um, what you got? We have the 
in pin track. Okay. You go on to Tomorrow, if you should say November. It's the same. Did you take Xanax when you wrote the post? Here you go. It was our it was I was already in motion, yeah, like I couldn't yeah, yeah. So I, I, I couldn't I <laughs> it was a dilemma, like <laughs> what should I do now? <laughs> like, that was a really hard decision, like people handing me money and beer, beer so heading towards my face. <laughs> I think I made the right decision now. Oh, it's, like, it's so hot today, and this is so refreshing. Hashtag day drunk. We got some fancy chocolate back here, some Belgian chocolate. Um, this is like serious chocolate. They have like four or five different flavors, it's super rich stuff. Um, gonna taste a little bit of it. I'm a actually gonna put my, gonna put my beer down for chocolate, y'all. Salted butter. Dark chocolate truffles. Built Salted in. butter. Yes. Dark chocolate, chocolate truffle. Truffle. Seventy percent of cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like happy before I even ate it. Like that sounds ridiculous. Oh my god. You got that? Yeah. It's, I already tried some. It's like seventy percent yes. chocolate. No sugar in it. Wow. This one is spirulina. It's what? Spirulina. Spirulina? Yeah, spirulina. Yeah. Mixed with chocolate? Yes. <laughs> spirulina and chocolate. Uh, yeah. Like, that's a uh, combination. But. It's got chocolate in it. You guys know spirulina? Spirulina is a really healthy, super green bacteria, right? Is it bacteria? It's a, it's a weed. It's a seaweed. It's seaweed. Urban seaweed. It's, it's weed. Chocolate and weed, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, both of those are delicious. Alright, so this is the chocolate therapy box. It's a chocolate therapy for one week. One chocolate a day keeps the stress away. The problem is... You'll have all of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you eat it in one day and you'll be stressed out the rest of the week because you don't have any more chocolate. <laughs> Wake up with chocolate all over your mouth. And um, um, dark chocolate 100% cuckoo. Single origin from Vietnam. Wow. All right. It's just a little piece. This is a really strong stuff. And this is the cocoa pot where it came from. And uh, actually, beans, roasted beans, and uh, after it's roasted, it's... Mm. It's like Coca-Cola. Yes. <laughs> Is that Coca-Cola? Yes. <laughs> and what else? Something crunchy in there. Yeah. Is it popping in your mouth? Lime. No. No? No. Sugar pop. Sugar pop? Yeah. You feel? Maybe I haven't gotten to that part. Oh, now. All right, there it goes. It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> cool. Guys, if you want to give me something for Christmas, all my list is coconuts, beer, and Coca-Cola flavored sugar, Coca-Cola flavored sugar pop chocolate. 
Is there, is that in a box or anything? Or how did... Uh, yeah. Awesome. I'm, I'm minding my business and hot girls trying to steal my coconuts. They want me for my coconuts. You can have the beer. Oh, you want my beer? She wants yeah. my beer and my coconuts. <laughs> she was looking at the coconut and she was like, is that beer? <laughs> All right, take what you want, woman. <laughs> Abuse me. Cool. Mm. Chaser? Hey, this, this is pretty good. Yeah, Chaser. Mm. Anything you want to tell YouTube about this awesome beer and coconut? Beer. <laughs> Uh, it's like detoxing and retoxing at the same time, right? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think guys can't multitask. I'm trying to you prove them wrong. You definitely can when it wrong. comes to food. I'm trying to prove them wrong. <laughs>
we got sugar and chili that she's dumping in there. A couple of herbs, herbs, a couple of herbs. <laughs> a little bit of blood. And that's what's gonna help with that rich, super rich flavor. And of course, you can't forget those ubiquitous meatballs. And there you go, you've got a, you've got a bowl of uh, boat noodles and a pretty beautiful bowl at that. All right, uh, boat noodles, right? So the first thing you'll notice is the, bo <laughs> is the bowl is a lot bigger than uh, what you would get at a typical place. It costs uh, a little less than 100 baht. I think it's a good deal for this size bowl. And you got a lot more meat than you would also get. Um, really big chunks of, of big chunks of beef in here. I've ordered simiai, which is a large noodle. Um, and it smells freaking delicious. Um, a lot of spice. It's typical kind of like Chinese spice coming off the top. I'm just gonna sip the broth. Yeah, proper rich broth. Um, this is what you want to eat when you uh, don't know what else to eat because it's going to be super filling and make your belly pretty happy afterwards. So let's dig in here. Going to get a chunk of meat in there. It's good. It's um, it's good. The meat is tasty. The broth is delicious. Um, I'm gonna add a little spice to mine. It's not quite as spicy as I want it. So we're gonna throw some a uh, little bit of chili in there. Maybe even a splash of a little vinegar. Give it a little kick. Uh, if you're not into all that spice, I say try it like it is first, um, and then go for it. Oh yeah, that helped. Yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of a, a kick to it. Broth is already delicious. So that's street food, but indoors, they also do a lot of other random like fusion-y type dishes. They have like a sai uo, which is a Chiang Mai sausage hot dog and things like that. Um, really random menu. I'll write up a little more details on the blog for you. Um, but now I'm gonna eat. I'm not real excited about it. Um, this is always one thing that causes black guys anxiety is getting a haircut. Um, but there is uh, one barbershop here that can almost cut my hair. Um, it's called Never Say Cuts. I'm already in line in the queue. I don't know who's cutting my hair. That kind of stresses me out. But. Um, Gonna get a quick cut while we're between meals and just wanted to kind of um, show this place off and show you guys what I'm doing when I'm not eating, <laughs> stressing out about where to get a haircut. <laughs> uh, they, this place is actually like, if, you, if you've been to the US and you're familiar with a black barbershop, this place is actually designed after a black barbershop. That doesn't mean that they know how to cut black hair. That's the problem, um, but there are there are one or two barbers here that can, that can clean me up kind of nice. So uh, we're going to give them a shot, see what they can do. Um, and then you can leave a comment and tell me how my hair looks later. I really don't want to cut the curls, y'all, but you can see it's gotten really, gotten really long up there. So um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go.
how does that look, YouTube? Uh, you can see they, this is a, I mean, this is a pretty basic cut that, that I would get in the States. Um, not too complicated, not exactly what I was hoping to get. I was hoping he would keep it a little long on the side. You see they chopped all the curls off and then they actually uh, taped, taped around the front and the sides with, uh, with a razor. Um, you have to do that because black hair doesn't really care about what plans you have. Uh, it doesn't really cooperate. I also, have a, I also have a widow's peak there that he completely shaved off. That'll be back like tomorrow. <laughs> like no joke, it's, it's not a game. Um, but anyway, this, this is a good place. This is the closest I can really get to um, a black barbershop while I'm abroad and in Bangkok. And also, uh, they're, they're well known for doing, for, the, for, for their work with the razors. They'll do these designs in people's heads and stuff like that. So um, there you go. That's my recommendation for a barbershop. Um, yeah, I hate getting haircuts. And, <laughs> and um, I think now it's time to get back to some food, don't you think? <laughs>